this, the motive power, carefully raised to position on its gantry. This, the Atlas, with power to develop 360,000 pounds of thrust, with capability to swiftly lift the spacecraft and its passenger as high as 160 miles, to inject the spacecraft into orbit at 17,500 miles an hour. And now the word is go, as the spacecraft is lifted into its position atop the Atlas. This spacecraft, six feet across at its widest heat shield end, ten feet tall, built to withstand heat shield temperatures of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, as the wind rushes by at more than 15,000 miles an hour. As the astronaut prepares for space flight, for adventure into outer space. Mercury control waits and watches with the Atlas standing ready to throb into life. Ready. Friendship 7 is ready. And so is John Glenn. Elevators lift Glenn to the 11th level, the spacecraft level.
is go, and John Glenn is go, and with him go all of mankind's dreams of someday touching the unattainable stars. Under a tropic sun, the tracking ship Rosenot waits and follows his course as he flashes towards the coast of Africa. To John Glenn belongs an awesome panorama of the Earth below. Beyond human sight, Friendship 7 makes a slow boat out of the sun as the spacecraft girdles the Earth every 90 minutes. Like a shooting star, at five miles a second, 17,500 miles an hour, John Glenn streaks away from today into the night of tomorrow, racing towards the dawn of yesterday. As Glenn sights the lights of Perth and Rockingham, as he flashes over Australia, across the Pacific, to contact waiting ground stations at Wymus, Mexico. And California waits as Friendship 7 streaks home to the land of its origin. An unseen comet lining across the United States in eight lightning minutes of flight. Completing three history-making circuits of the globe, John Glenn fires retro rockets to slow the spacecraft, to direct it back to Earth. disaster. A chilling signal flashes an indication that the capsule's heat shield may be loose. The astronaut might perish like an earthbound meteor in 3,000 degrees of re-entry heat without the heat shield. Strapped over it, the retro pack might hold it in place. Cape Canaveral makes the decision. Cape Control shows the way. Using fly-by-wire control for re-entry, John Glenn rides his craft through the vastness of space towards the curving globe beneath. As science, in its amazing exactness, selects the Caribbean from all the oceans of the Earth to receive Friendship 7 as it blazes into the Earth's atmosphere. glass surface of the heat shield is starting to oblate, to melt and vaporize as a glowing electrically charged wake streams back to block off communication as the Earth's atmosphere slows the capsule's descent.
brief a journey in time. So far the way, so long hours for those who wait, as Annie Glenn has waited. As all the world has waited, to salute the Glenn with Vice President Lyndon Johnson. As the President of the United States arrives at Cape Canaveral, to be greeted with John and Annie Glenn by the cheers of thrilled lines of proud Americans. In ceremonies at Mercury Control Center, President John F. Kennedy presents the NASA Distinguished Service Medal to astronaut John Glenn. As Annie and Lynn and David Glenn proudly share applause with the other astronauts and with the world. As John's parents learn firsthand about Friendship 7. As does Marine Corps Commandant General David M. Shoup and the President of the United States. And this rainy day in Washington is a happy day as the President and the astronaut arrive to drive through rain-washed, crowd-flooded streets to the White House for a reception as John and Annie Glenn with Vice President Lyndon Johnson greet distinguished guests, including astronaut Alan Shepard. Godspeed, John Glenn. Godspeed into the future. Into even greater accomplishment. Into the hearts of all Americans. Welcome to Washington. Welcome back to this planet. From the nation's capital, to the towers of Manhattan, to the ticker tape parade of New York, Cheering crowds roar a mighty welcome, shared by all Americans, by free people everywhere.